when you see lists of free symmetries, glide reflection is usually listed as the second one. It's kind of tricky, so I've got to show a bunch of different examples. These look different, but they're all the same. They're all glide reflections. There's two rules with glide reflection, but there's variations within the rules. So what you do with glide reflection is you glide and reflect. But how far do you glide and what do you reflect around? Well, you can choose how far you glide. So in this one, I'm going to glide halfway across the original unit. And then, but since I did my glide along the horizon, I need to reflect across the horizon or a line parallel to the horizon. So I did my glide and now I'm going to reflect over the horizon. Okay, so basically this is what my pattern is going to look like. This is my basic unit. I'm going to glide halfway across again, reflect again over the horizon line. So now I'm just consistently making the same decisions and it ends up looking like, sort of like bricks. Okay, this one. This one, I'm going to glide this time. Oh, I'm going to glide three quarters along the way. Now, if I, if I reflected across the horizon line, it would end up down here. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to reflect across a different line that's parallel to the horizon, which is which is this line. So I'm going to go three quarters of the way across. There's a line I'm reflecting around. So it ends up looking like this. And you can't see it because my hands are in the way, but that will change in a second. So I'm, I'm moving three quarters along the distance, then reflecting again around the same line. There we go. And now this pattern, you can see it, it just continues. Now what's going on here, I put these little uh, triangles in because that's the line that we're going to be reflecting across. Here it goes, backwards. So this time I'm going to move over this far, reflect across this line, and it ends up looking like that. Okay, so now I'm here. I'm going to do the same, move along the same amount, reflect over that line, and it goes like this. So now I know it looks like this honeycomb pattern. There you go. Okay, doing one more sample, this time with pattern blocks. Okay. So this is the pattern block that I'm using. Um, I'm going to reflect along the horizon line. So what I do is I've got my exact copy. I'm going to move this over halfway, reflect across the horizon line, and it looks like this. Same thing. You can see I've got tape on the back. It works really well. Um, move halfway across, reflect over the horizon line, and there it is. Now this pattern underneath, it's the same glide reflection, but this time I reflected across uh, a line in the middle of the pattern. So same glide reflection, very different look. Hope that helps.